we're one week away from the fight, focusing just on some specific stuff, just cleaning up any little problems that I'm having and trying to still work some anaerobic and explosive work. And just tighten things up, man. Cross the T's and dot the I's. Okay, this time, this time. Always ready. Chop. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. He does good when he's uh, in the lead, but I don't think he's a good at coming back, and I don't think he's good when guys push him backwards. I'm just coming to fight, man. That's all, all there is to it. I'm just trying to be the best that I can and go in there and beat this guy's ass, man. That's what it's all about. Here, 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 get out! People probably think it's crazy we're here in Cabo a week before the fight, but we're out here working hard. Uh, I think this is a nice way to cap the end of a really long camp. You know, we went UFC 205 right into UFC 206, so. Show, show them. Show them your kick. We're gonna finish off on High Point and go into cold Toronto, still warm from this Mexican sun. Oh, well, we're gonna wear pads? Huh? We're gonna wear pads? Oh, I thought we weren't. Uh -huh. Ringers? Hey man, I'm not trying to kick your elbow. And I know you got a hard head. I don't need, I don't need my shin bruised on your head, Shilling. <laughs> it's awesome that Joe came down. He's a former glory kickboxing champion, one of the best strikers in the world. He's done a lot of camps with the Diaz brothers, Michael Bisping. He's helped out a lot of good guys, very top level. So it's nice to be down here in uh, Cabo San Lucas with another high level fighter for Cabo to get some good movement and good work with. I haven't sparred with somebody at his level in so long. Yeah. And kickboxing? Yeah, that's crazy. Who would have thought hard work in Cabo? Have my eye look. For yourself, is it bleeding? Is it bleeding that fake movie blood? Oh, Sharoni, I think real or fake? Cause I'm like know. playing it all. <laughs> With all the advantages and shit it's on his eye. I'm like, yeah. it's crazy. The winner of this fight gets to fight Jose and uh, we'll see who's, uh, who's the new king in this uh, division. Thank you guys. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, first things first is Anthony Pettis, December 10th, you know, on pay-per-view. I got all my focus on him, you know. Thank you. I got fun. Real pleasure, man. I'm a big fan. Nice to meet you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, man. Yeah, hopefully. Today was a good day. Media, media, and more media, but I love it, man. I feel like a champion, you know. This is what champions are made of. This is all the stuff you got to do, you know, and I feel great. What? What's up, big dog? Oh, good. Like that part. <laughs> Popping with the part. Ready? I'm blessed to be here, man. I can't wait, you know, and uh, former champion Anthony Pettis, you know, and a guy who really did a lot for the sport, and uh, man's on a weedy box, for Christ's sake, you know, and, uh, who can say that? So, uh, opportunity to be in the same cage as the man, and, uh, you know, may the best man win come December 10th. I feel amazing, man. I think, uh, you know, I got a great opponent in front of me, Max Holloway. Guy that uh, we've been game planning for for a while. I mean, he's been on my radar since yeah. I moved down to 45, yeah. knowing that he's uh, you know, probably next in line for a title shot. The fact that we're here now and we're uh, you know, for our interim title, it's that much more motivated now. It's just that same mentally sharp, staying ready for this fight, and then making sure my conditioning stays where it's at. Anthony's just basically just fine tuning, you know, literally accuracy, accuracy of placing of your hands, placing of your head, making sure his footwork's in line, just literally polishing up everything before we get to Toronto on Tuesday. I put together a great team. You know, everybody in this building is here for me to get uh, to get this belt. I know we know this means to Milwaukee. You know, I already was a, a lightweight world champion. To be a two-time world champion in the UFC is just that much more. It's my legacy. Hey man, you forgot your bike, bro. You got it. Oh. Eli, I just having you at the house helping with the dishes, man. I gotta be honest. <laughs> right? Hey, we were gonna drive Anthony to Toronto. Right in. Right here. No problem. No problem. Make, make, make weight on the way. Pedestal. Yeah. This fucking hat is like too tight and gives me like a fucking headache. Then I cut my nails too short and they're bleeding and now it hurts to like walk. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like could get fucking right here and here. You can see I'm like fucking hurt. I got a fucked up hat, man. Fucked up eye and fucked up toes. I'm about to go fuck up some rooster fish. Hey guys, ready? Let's go. Andale, andale, andale. Are the fish waiting? This is Cowboy with BMF Anglers. Taking my man Joe Schilling out uh, deep sea fishing for his, uh, his first experience. Should be fun. You know, we could be sitting at home thinking about our opponents. Or we could be in Cabo San Lucas fishing for roosters. Roosters. I don't know, I had one. 
Ah. Yeah, it sucks is I finally gave you a fucking good shiner and I don't get any credit for it. Yeah, it takes a lot of dedication every morning to wake up and put this makeup on. Yeah. Oh shit. Ah. Uh, hey. We got totally skunked. Yeah. So how are the mushrooms made? Uh, we better. Good as hell. Yeah. <laughs> the last team dinner before we head out to Toronto. I'm using a five ounce. Filet. Filet. Okay. No salt. No butter. Oh, you show time knife at the restaurant. Come here a lot, man. I've been here for a long time in the city, so. Good place to eat. Yes. Perfect. Sides to follow. Oh. Good. Enjoy, pal. He trains hard every day. For, for the last seven weeks for this. So it's important to go out once in a while and kind of enjoy yourself, but still stay within the realm of, of what you need to do as far as eating is concerned. Mentally plays a big part, and I think it's important for us to do that. And our weight's really good, so you kind of get to enjoy it a little bit more. Try getting early. We're from freaking from a, the Hawaiian Islands, far away from everything. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but Hawaii don't get that cold. We're in Toronto, it's what, 30 degrees, 40? Yeah, Hawaii is like 80. I After good shakeout and stuff, always come to the jacuzzi. We always try to get a jacuzzi in, just relax the muscles. Feels good, man. I've been waiting for this opportunity since I was 17 and a half. When I made up my mind, I wanted to be an MMA fighter, a UFC fighter. All this preparation, all this time is going to come down to uh, December 10. Make sure you tune in. Watch someone get tuned up. 